Training mask is a briefing device that can be used during exercise. This is a great advantage of this device because there are many others, for example, ultra brief, power breath, power lung, and several others which can be used before or after physical exercise. And they also claim that they help to improve sport performance and fitness and improve other factors like, let's say, level of energy, sleep, digestion, and many other lifestyle-related characteristics. What is the advantages and differences related to the training mask? This is a training mask. So what can be done when somebody is exercising? I can put this mask and go running with it. In fact, I tried even one hour or more. And the effect of training mask are following. It is known that when we train, especially intensively and train for a long time, our breathing becomes heavy. And training mask provides resistance, which can be regulated. We can put here different valves with different number of faults, and therefore we can regulate resistance for inhalation and for exhalation. By regulating resistance, we can adjust it to our level of breathing. So if you breathe, let's say, too heavy at rest, and that also indicates low body oxygen content, then we need to have more valves, but while training with training mask, you will be able to gradually increase resistance, and that means you will be breathing slower and less during physical exercise. And this is the main effect of training mask, that while breathing less and slower during physical exercise, we increase CO2 content in our lungs and in the arterial blood. That helps to dilate blood vessels and improve oxygen transport and reduce heart rate at the same time. You can actually check using, for example, a pulse method or if you exercise on a treadmill or on an exercise bike, that if you use training mask, your heart rate would be a little bit lower, maybe by about 5-10 beats per minute, even when you have the same intensity. Of course, the immediate sport performance is going to be reduced. When using a training mask, you will not be able to run as fast as you can run without training mask. And therefore, this is a device that actually makes exercise a little bit harder so that we get a stronger training effect. This is very common in sports that many athletes, in fact, and coaches invent different methods and techniques so that we create harder conditions for training so that in order to perform better during sport contests. And the central effect of training mask is gradual improvement in breathing pattern, that means your breathing becomes slower and not lighter 24 hours per day. And that increases body oxygen content, and then people experience shorter and much better quality of sleep. They experience greatly improved level of energy, better digestion, disappearance of chronic health problems, and many other positive effects. In order to get maximum benefits from the training mask, it's also important to address lifestyle factors that helps to increase body oxygen content and make breathing slower and lighter at rest. Let me now consider how breathing at rest relates to our ability to exercise. It is known that people with chronic diseases have relatively poor fitness. For example, somebody with diabetes, heart disease, asthma, cancer, COPD, many other conditions, they are not able to exercise intensively. And it's easy to notice if they start to go running or do some other intensive type of exercise, the breathing becomes much, much heavier. You can easily hear and see how heavy is the breathing, whereas athletes, especially those who are fit or very fit, during exercise, the breathing is more regular, it's lighter and slower. Why this effect takes place? Why healthy people breathe slower during exercise? The explanation is relatively simple. If we look at the results of numerous clinical studies, we can see that normal breathing rate or minute ventilation at rest for healthy people is very small, only about 5-6 liters per minute. So this is a norm for adults at rest when we are sitting and of course are not involved in any physical activity. Sick people at rest breathe much more. It's common to have numbers about 12, 15, sometimes 18 liters per minute. So we breathe 2-3 times heavier.
and that reduces body oxygen content. This image of the brain shows that when people breathe more, they reduce CO2 content, and CO2 is the most powerful dilator of blood vessels. Therefore, when we breathe more at rest, we get less oxygen supply for the brain in this case, but totally the same effect was found in numerous clinical studies for kidneys, liver, spleen, colon, heart, and all other vital organs which were tested in clinical trials. Therefore, what happens during exercise, our breathing becomes heavier. Let's say I start light jogging, my breathing becomes about 10 times heavier. That means instead of 6 liters per minute, if I have normal breathing pattern at rest, I'm going to breathe 60 liters per minute. If you think about people with heart disease, diabetes, cancer, asthma, all these chronic diseases, the breathing at rest is commonly have about 15 liters per minute. And therefore, we start to breathe 10 times heavier because CO2 level during physical exercise remains very close to CO2 level at rest in the arterial blood. Therefore, these people, people who have chronic diseases, start to breathe 10 times heavier, and if we take 15, it would be 150 liters per minute. 150 liters per minute is about the maximum number that an average person can achieve by having as fast and as heavy breathing as possible. So if you start to breathe very heavy or through the mouth even, that would be about 150 liters per minute. And this is exactly how people with chronic diseases breathe during light physical exercise. Whereas, again, if a person is healthy and has a normal breathing pattern with higher body oxygen content, this person is going to breathe slower and lighter during the same light physical exercise. For example, instead of six light jogging, ten times higher metabolism rate, the minute ventilation is going to be 60 liters per minute. Now, the effect of training mask that you can gradually retrain your breathing pattern during exercise and the rest so that you start breathe slower and less. And in fact, if you train yourself well and if you follow lifestyle changes related to sleep, diet and other factors, then you will be able to retrain your breathing, which is quite hard, but hundreds of people were able to achieve this goal. So if you start to breathe only 2-3 liters per minute much less than the medical norm, achieving ideal body oxygen content. And then, during physical exercise, you will be able to breathe only about 20-30 liters per minute, which is a very small number. That means you will be able to run very fast and breathe lightly and easily through the nose, utilizing much more oxygen from air. In order to achieve this result when you breathe only 2-3 liters per minute and have very high results for the body oxygen test, it's like special breath holding time test, about 2-3 minutes people can achieve, it requires to ad address many lifestyle factors. And the amazing effect of training mask is that if I go for an exercise and let's say run for one, one and a half hour, I know that later it's difficult to control my breath, and I need to apply efforts to slow and get down when I take shower before the meal. But what I found very effective and in a way unusual because I never experienced this attack before, that when I apply a training mask and go running for one hour or even longer time, I take away, away the training mask when I finish the exercise. And I don't have a desire to hyperventilate, to take more air. My breathing automatically becomes slower and lighter. Not only that, the longer I use training mask, the stronger its effect. This is really paradoxical. So in my view, I tested this training mask on many breathing students whom I, I teach. What was found, the training mask dramatically improves efficiency of physical exercise. So people often say it's like elevation training mask, this is what you can even read here, that it stimulates high altitude. But at high altitude, what happens is that we have lower oxygen content. Let's say we go to two kilometers high altitude and oxygen content there is about twice less than we have at sea level. And therefore, when a person trains there, the air which is inhaled has twice less oxygen. So that causes adaptation of the human body and there is pro increased production of hemoglobin and some other physiological changes which take place. 
positive changes so that they help to improve fitness and sport performance. But training mask, what it does, it reduces airflow due to increased resistance. So it's kind of extension of the nose. But in addition to that, when you exhale, you are going to inhale this air, which is reaching CO2, back into your lungs. That means in addition to the so-called elevation effect, effect of high altitude, the training mask also increases CO2 content. So it's both hypoxic and hypercapnic training at the same time. Therefore, training mask, in fact, is better than training at high altitude. Because there are thousands of top or elite athletes which go to high altitude in order to improve their endurance, their auto max, and other physiological parameters, and of course so that they can perform better and win contests. But using training mask, you can do it at sea level and getting even better results due to high CO2 content. Click the link below this video to get on web pages of normalbriefing.com where you can find more information about training mask, lifestyle factors, and other important effects and details which relates to breathing retraining.